next after you landed in america okay i discovered that many people are asking these questions and they really want an answer to it as soon as possible like a sap okay so the information i'm going to be providing you with in this video is going to help you get situated you know in the united states of america um, the moment you landed there in America, okay? All right, so I'm not an immigration attorney. I'm not a consular. You know, I just need to quickly put that disclaimer there to, you know, help some guys out there to know that um, the information I'm providing here is just based on my own personal experience, okay? So I don't want any drama, all right? With that being said, stick around, don't go away. Welcome guys to the channel. I go by the name Wealthy Babs and in this video I'm going to be providing you information of what you needed to know when you land in America. Okay, now I'm going to be giving you about six to seven um, tips of the things you need to get um, the moment you land in America. Okay, um, of course it's fine if you want to get um, those things done in like a year or maybe nine months or a year it's fine what took other people like uh, a month and two weeks you know you may just want to end up having it done in a year or nine months so you get to but um if you're an immigrant coming to america just um, try as much as possible to see how you can just get yourself established on time right so with that being said let's get into it the very first thing you need to get when you land in america is to get a sim right you need to get a sim like a sim card get a sim card um i know you're going to come with your phone your mobile phone your cell device you know to call your family and friends or whatever it's going to pick you up in the um airport okay so you need to get um your phone ready and once you land in america buy a sim they have different communication products here in america they have verizon they have t-mobile a lot of them they have it and you know so you want to look at the one that best fits you and get into it i use t-mobile okay so my wife uses verizon and you know it's just i mean a normal thing you need to buy a sim get a monthly package i think the cheapest one is like 50 dollars or yeah a month so you have you know access to some maybe unlimited data unlimited wi-fi and blah 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 so you want to get that and that's the very first thing you need because when you are trying to get a job you will need a us line um that your employer is going to send you know some messages to you on how you need to go about your interview that's if you need a job though so or uh, you want to call your spouse or something so you need a sim get sim um put in your phone and get it to work because whatever sim you're coming with in your country from the country you're coming from either from nigeria i came from nigeria for people who are watching me who are nigerians they will understand what i'm trying to talk about your sim is not going to work here of course the very first week is going to work based on roaming but that roaming is kind of expensive to me so i can't continue you know um wasting money just because i want to talk to people or something like that so i really abandoned it and i just went for a u.s line and i messaged all of my contacts that um i have a new u.s line and this is um where i am okay so number two thing you want to get is a social security card okay i did a video on my social security card when it got here and blah 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 so the third day that i arrived in america my social security card was issued to me okay so if you want to get your social security card as far as possible um i would advise you that you tick at uh, the bottom part of your dsu system when you're filling it there is a question that says do you want a social security card of course your answer is going to be yes i want a social security card so the moment you get here, your social security card is going to get to you in let me say two weeks that you arrived in america right so once the social security gets to you here yeah, in america it will allow you to do a lot of things social security card is something called your national identity number right so your national identity number is what um your employees will need is what will help you you know get registered when you want to open a bank account is what is going to help you you know go through your driving school um it's going to help you do a lot of things even your retirement is going to help you that's what government will see as your you know your identity number in america it's, it's your national id 
your state hide like your country hide is different from state id though you can get to the state you live in and get a state id that's as well necessary but um your social security card whenever you travel to any state in america is going to allow you you know um to to use it so it's just like a nine digit number um yeah nine i guess yeah nine so and it's gonna help you i did a video on that you may want to go to my channel and see what i said about it okay so it allows you to have a credit card you know stuff like that so number three thing that you need to get is to open a bank account with your social security card you can open a bank account okay you need a bank account for you to um earn money like have money in your account or if you have a spouse you your spouse can have the job to our finance you know just to have a joint account it's fine i did that because i'm married to my wife okay so and as well um if you're an individual or single maybe your your parents your father filed for you and you want to you want to um what's it called you want to have an account it's good so you just want to do that get your account get your bank account once you get a bank account um which is a security card it's fine so it makes life easy for you get a bank account i can't um, overemphasize that um, number three that you want to do is to work on your driver's license okay i came from nigeria and you know that the driver's license in nigeria is not going to be valid here in america okay even though they told me um it is valid for like three months but it is not wise because they are not going to license you until you convert until you convert your driver's license right so i did that i went to a driving school they did a drug test and i, I just went through i don't have the certificate here it's inside the vehicle so i would have loved to show you guys the certificate you're going to go through drug abuse drug and alcohol test you know which is going to last for like three hours after that you write the test you get a certificate that's what you would take to the dmv department of motor vehicles and you know you write the exam again they will test you if you know how to drive because here in america you need to obey science you need to follow through instruction it's not like the way we drive in africa you drive or let me say nigerian to be precise so or in lagos so you don't drive crazy yeah there are pedestrians walking there are um cyclists people who drive who ride bicycle rather so you need to obey the rules People will walk majestically on the road and you can you can honk, like give a can honk. They don't care, like they don't care. You just need to obey and follow through the prompts, right? So get your driver's license, get it converted, and um, you're good to go. So the next thing, and the reason why you need to do driver's license is because every time your wife is not going to be driving or your spouse is not going to be driving, she, there are times whereby she wants to breastfeed the baby and she got to sit at the back. So you just need to be the driver at that time and you just help her out and for your own information you will need to drive to work and you don't want to hop on uber most of the time right okay so the next thing i will talk about is um get your green card green card is just like you having a permanent resident in the states okay i know on your visa they're going to tell you um this stuff that we stamped on your visa is going to allow you to live in the united states for one year and blah 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 brother sister let me tell you the truth once you get that stuff it's not going to get you anything until you get your green card right you need that thing to process your green card correct so but that is not going to serve as a green card because when you try to get a job nobody is going to employ you because you have your visa stamp like saying um you have a temporary um, permanent resident for one year or something no they want to see your your green card they want to see your probably your ead which is your employment authority something you know and you you don't want to um waste time in making money like try to get the opportunity to get a job and start making money right so you don't want to waste that get your green card green card is going to help you stay in the united states permanently for like 10 years so permanent resident for 10 years it values for 10 years so once you have that you can use that to process your citizenship citizenship is large like it's, it's quite enormous so you don't want to miss out in getting that done and yeah that's it so the next thing i'm going to talk about is you get a job if you think you need one 
get a job if you think you need one. And after you get in your green card, if you're this entrepreneur kind of person like me, you may want to see how you start doing business, you know, hopefully see how you can start doing business. My subsequent video, I will share some information about how to get naturalized in America, like how to become a citizen in America. So you want to do well to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. I'll still be the very first person to get um, notified when I drop another informative video like this. Okay, so um, yeah, you want to do that. So go ahead and click on the subscribe button, like, share. Okay, so after you get a green card, it's going to it can help you naturalize. You know, after three years, if you're coming with TR1 or higher one spousal visa. Um, after three years of you being married to your spouse, you can go for um, becoming a citizen in America. Okay, I have a wife, I have a daughter here, so, and you know, yeah, it is what it is. And you can become a citizen and, you know, have a full benefit in America. Like you can vote, you can do a lot of things. I've talked about social security. I talked about you having a phone number, you, getting your driver's license evaluated, you getting a green card, open a bank account. And okay, I'm going to drop a link to the next point I'm going to talk now in the description section below. So you may want to find it useful. It's going to help you join a community, like become, become a volunteer. I think it's called volunteermatch.com or dot org or something. Yeah, it's going to help you associate with people community service because if you just come here with your degree and say you want to get a job let me tell you let me let me let me just say this let me be blunt about this it's just the pure truth if you come into america as a medical doctor from nigeria you will end up becoming maybe a nurse or a lab or physician or something i i, I think so yeah so the system the highest order of whatever thing you are coming with in america in Niger, from any country you are coming to from rather when you get to Nigeria, when you get to America, it's going to be like drop. So the, the evaluation system, I don't know how it works. You are just going to fall. Like if you are a civil engineer, by the time you come in here and you want to get a job and they get your whatever degree evaluated, you may end up becoming, you know, something just lower in rank to that which you think you have in there. So you want to get into the system and fitting properly right so um yeah so go to volunteer.com volunteermatch.com is going to help you um quickly get associated with people organizations who can easily employ you once they see that you volunteer yourself they're going to help you okay so i don't intend to make this video long i actually want it to be like 14 minutes and i think i've provided information that i want to share with you guys in this video all right so kindly please Click on the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, and like this video if you learn one of the things. I'm begging you guys to subscribe. This is one of the ways you help us grow, and you encourage me to provide you guys with more information. And if you think you have any questions or, I mean, anything bothering you about immigrating to the United States, feel free to ask me or you drop it in the comment section below. I'm going to respond to everything, right? Thank you, guys, and peace out.